the issue that i found is so i am back and this doesn't look good at all so in welcome back so today i'm finally going to try this dress that has been living in my head rent free for quite some time it is the salome dress by fabric store it is a free pattern and to sew this dress i chose to use this linen fabric it was gifted to me by a dear friend so thank you very much if you're watching i did the burn test and it burned as i would expect linen to burn so i am very confident that this is linen i pre-washed it and gave it a very nice press because i want to give the best chance for this dress to work and i believe the dress in the cover is also done in linen i have also these little helpers in the sewing room today and well, some of them will help more than others. So all the pattern pieces are now cut out. These are the two bodice fronts. I have marked here the edge of the darts and I have notches at the bottom so I can add them to triangles and get them sewn. Um, one thing to pay attention to this pattern the bodice front left and right are different this is actually the right this one we will attach the button placket so get it sewn folded and then attach the buttons this one the bodice left uh, the bodice front left uh, i actually have to interface and fold it so it's already here and i have some notches here at the top to help me then uh, find the placement and fold it and then get it sewn to put the buttons i've cut as well the waistband so it needs to be two pieces they are cut on fold we've got as well four pocket pieces these are the skirt back and the skirt fronts here is the bodice back as well with the darts here is the button placket and we only cut one for the right side so here is the interfacing for the button placket and as well for the left side. And then I have my collar and collar stand and the respective interfacing. So only one piece of interfacing and two pieces for each side of the collar. And finally the bias binding for the armholes. I have cut it in this cotton. This is a 100% cotton that is much thinner than the linen that I'm cutting for the dress. I'm not sure if this is the right call but I just thought that this would make it uh, that area a little bit thinner and easier to sew but feel free to cut it in your favorite fabric
it is the next day and the bodice is now sewn as you can see it does need a little bit of pressing but i have found a few issues and i would like to tell you about those first as you can see the bodice uh, is supposed to be sewn between the waistbands so this is one waistband and this is the other and you have the seam in the middle so it is completely covered the issue that i found is let me get the piece this is the piece that you get for the waistband and it is supposed to be cut on full and then you have the notches here for the side seams the thing is the bodice is not equal on the right and on the left side so when i completely pin this and match the notches i matched the center back and i matched the side seams it did not fit i had a little bit extra on one side and a little bit extra missing from the other side and that is because let me get the other piece because of this so in the bodice front you have this line in which you were supposed to cut the right front and this side for the left front because this side is supposed to then fold so you can do the button band for one side and then the other one you have a specific piece for the button band so it did not work like that it still has the right amount of fabric so if you do this what you have to do is just to make sure that you cut on fold start pinning on one end on one end of your bodice and then finish on the other and it does fit so it does cut to uh, the right amount of fabric to do the work but you have to just ignore uh, the notches the same happens with the skirt so the skirt pieces the skirt fronts um, they do not have extra on one side or on the other so basically what will happen is that one side will have a little bit more gathering than the other i don't know that's the way that it was done so i'll proceed now and show you the second issue so i hope there is enough lighting for me to show you the second issue i have the bodice on i hope you can see these darts they are in an awkward spot they are really pointing in pointy in this fabric which you know is not the best look now the second thing is that uh i'm short so i'm one a meter in 60 centimeters so 160 or for you guys in the us it's 5.2 uh, i believe that's 5.2 and the bodice extends way past my uh, waistline so as you can see i have the pants now this is my waistline my natural waist even if this is not supposed to be uh, my natural waistline you have this uh, much of a waistband which goes too low um, for now I intend to do the dress as it is but I think that I am very likely to come back and remove at least the waistband to try to bring it, it to here more or less because that's not the look that I usually go for I prefer for the dresses to hit me I'm a natural, at my natural waist which is right here you see so it extends a lot so you will not have this issue if you are taller i am just on the petite side so, but i will now proceed to uh, sew the pockets and the way and the skirt pieces so that i can actually finish the dress and i'll try to judge it only on the finished look So it is done, all the four pockets are now top stitched right here, so I can grab now, this is the back, I'll get, grab the matching front, here it is, also top stitched, so this is the right sides, I'll put the right sides like this together, match them correctly, so I'll do this matching them correctly, and after they are correctly matched, I will pin and sew all the way around this for all of the pieces, and I'll be right back.
and this is the skirt well i hope that the sound is okay at this moment i have sewn the sides here is the pocket and, and on the inside we have pockets and i have gathered the top as well with white thread now i'm going to add it to the bodice so i'm going to just uh, gather everything to the bodice pin and sew to the inside and serge it so that then i can come and do what's hopefully the last touches to the dress i'll be right back so i am back and this doesn't look good at all so in fact i am not going to finish the dress as it is um so my waist my natural waist is up here so this is my natural waist and the waistband like you can see starts yeah down here so there is a big gap between my natural waist and where this waistband starts it just looks just looks frumpy uh, I mean the pockets are nice but this this is not the look that I'm going for so what I'm going to do is cut entirely the waistband and just sew the skirt directly up here and hopefully that gives me a better look uh, that's my attempt to salvage this dress in a way I just think it looks too loose for the finished garment measurements that I saw on the you know on the pattern so I don't know I'm going to cut it off, I'm going to sew it up here, and I'm going to see how it looks. Let me just see, just uh, show you how it looks right now. Uh, it doesn't look bad, I mean, I think if you had a long torso, even if you had a normal torso length, I mean, don't take my word for it, but I think it would be too low. I don't know. So, I'm going to cut it up and put it up here and see how it looks. Be right back. Good morning, it's the next day and the skirt is now again uh, chopped off and not part of the bodice. So I have to now regather everything and sew it up and hopefully it will fit nicely. Hopefully. So I have stitched the bodice to the skirt portion but unfortunately as you can see here I have used white thread. I was using white, uh, white to baste and gather the skirt and I forgot to change the thread but looking at here I don't think it is visible I don't think that will be a problem so I think I'll just leave it I'll overlock it after but I'll first try it on to see if it looks any better now okay so I'm going to go back let me just speak for a minute before I go back it is now just um, attached with some pins at the front so I can see how it is and it is fitting a lot better now let me just go back pocket uh, the darts are still darting very much at the front but it, it is much closer to my waist now maybe I'll put a little bit up but I'll leave it as it is I'll now go and work on the um, button pants so that I can you know have a final look because I try to judge uh, the how much spacing I have for the button bands I need to put the interfacing on one side and uh, the button band on the other so I can finish the front and see if my ease calculation uh, is correct at the moment but yeah I am really happy that I removed the button uh, the waistband because it is really not it was really not working for my size um, if you're short like me maybe you want to test it out as well and maybe consider removing it or you would have to shorten the bodice quite a bit to include uh, the waistband there so I don't know I take this as an example and you can make the adjustments as you see fit so I'll go and work on the button band now so I got the dress right here and the button bands are made in different ways from the left and the right side so I'll do first the easy side or easier at least for me which is the right side and for the right side there is this uh, button band that is already interfaced so I will just stitch it right here at 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter and then I'll use my iron to uh, fold it you know mark very well that um, sewing line and then sew it to the inside so I'll do this one first and then go to the other one that is a little bit more complicated.
So the right side is now done. You can see it is uh, flipped, flipped again the seam allowance that I had to trim and it stopped stitched to the inside. So this side is completely flat. Um, now the hard side, this one. Let me grab the uh, interfacing because I'm missing that. I'm going to add the interfacing and I'm doing both sides uh, flipping them to the inside because I need to hide uh, the raw edges from um, where the bodice attaches to the skirt because I don't have that uh, waistband that you would have with both, uh, both of the seams hidden which is fine, uh, fine for me, both of them will be flipped to the inside, will still be pretty so now I will do to my bodice, uh, I will attach the interfacing again, I will baste um, one centimeter here which is seam allowance and then I'll flip to the inside and then flip again but I need to look at the instructions a little better to understand what I'm doing I also need to see if I, um, with all, everything that I will flip to the inside, I can hide this cut that I made accidentally while removing the waistband, otherwise this will be I'll need to find a way to stitch this together and hide it, but I think it will be hidden completely by this and flipped between the, these layers and it will not be seen, so wish me luck, I will attach this and be right back. Okay, both sides are now done, so this side and the inside, so as you can see I did both of them to the inside and I have to confess that at this point I'm not enjoying the process very much, I think I will continue tomorrow, but yeah, so this is done, at least I can try the dead dress on now and see how it's looking, but I think I'll like it more once I finally attach uh, the collar. Uh, and I can see how it looks with the embroidery that I did. Um, so yeah, I think I'll make a uh, <laughs> take a break for now. Probably I will not touch this one today, and I'll continue tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. So I am finally back and I have things to say about this dress. You know, it took me so long to finish. It took me days and days. Actually, it was just left aside as a UFO for days on end. But I finally picked it up, finished it. And, you know, I think that it really just took me so long to finish because I could see as I was making it that it was so far away from the image of the dress that I had in my head. And the image that you can see in the actual pattern cover so it was so far from it that I just got a little bit disheartened uh, and I didn't feel like 
finishing it. But I did, and I'm here to tell you uh, about all of the issues that I found with the dress so that you can decide yourself if this pattern is worth you giving it a try. So talking about all the issues that I personally had with this dress. First, uh, the pattern pieces. And this one I think will be common to anyone that tries a dress. Uh, so I found issues uh, with the waistband and with the skirt pieces. I think these are not major issues, you just need to be aware. Uh, so the waistband, uh, it does fit around the dress, but it has uh, notches, so one notch for uh, each side of the dress. And if you match those uh, notches, it doesn't work. Why? Because the uh, left and the right side of the front bodice are different. And this issue also happens with the skirt piece. So the skirt piece as well is uh, the same for the right and for the left front so you just have to know that one side will have a little bit more gathering than the other i don't think these are major issues you just need to be aware now this takes me to the next issue issue number two is the size so i made the smallest size that was available in this pattern and according to the finished garment measurements i it was supposed to be actually very very fitted i was even afraid that the buttons would gap a little bit because i was supposed to grade up at the waist and i didn't so, so i really wanted that fitted look that you can see in the pattern cover uh, and no i will show you it has a lot of room at the waist really really roomy i can actually grab all of this section of fabric on the side let me just show you like this so I can grab and hold all of this section of fabric so it's not fitted at all uh, which is something that i don't understand because it was supposed to be quite fitted according to the finished garment measurements and it shows as being a fitted garment in the actual pattern image as well so this is something that i don't understand what happened um, so another issue the waist the waist in this pattern is too low and this is something that i talked about along as i was making the dress um, I think I have a short torso, so I'm quite small. I'm about 160, 1 meter and 60 centimeters, which is, I think, 5'2 in the US. So I'm quite small. I don't know what height the pattern is drafted for because it doesn't mention I couldn't find it. But still, I removed the waistband. I had to remove the waistband plus an extra centimeter, and it still doesn't hit me right at my waist. Um, so I don't know if it is drafted for someone that is quite tall or someone that has a long torso that is also something that i don't understand and that takes us to the next issue this is the major thing that i just like in my dress is the darts they are quite pointy they are quite low i don't know if i will go back and try to fix this um but it does upset me quite a lot every time i look at myself in this dress so and after all of this i still think that this dress is uh, wearable quite wearable for me i will probably wear it, wear it uh, at home not outside of the house uh, i think that the embroidery that i did in the collar saves it for me i really like the embroidery and it is something that i would like to do again for future dresses uh, but uh, i think that my final verdict is if you're short like me I don't recommend this dress. I think you'd have to fix a lot of things for it to fit you or to give you a fit similar or very close to what you have in the pattern cover. If you're tall uh, and or if you have a long torso, I think you can give it a try. Uh, but this is just as well my vision, my experience doing this pattern. So take all of this that I'm saying with a grain of salt. So with all of this said, I'm not completely quitting on using patterns from the fabric store. I will just stay away from the ones that are fitted. So, and if you have tried any patterns from the fabric store, please share your experience. Let me know if it works for you. And if you're tall, maybe if you had to make any alterations, I would like to know if it's just as shorties that have any issues with these patterns. So I hope you liked seeing this dress being put together. I tried to include as many steps and details as possible to so that someone else, if you're watching, wants to give it a try, you have uh, some video reference to go to if you want to give it a try. So yeah. So and if you're still here and watching, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you. I hope to see you on my next one. Happy crafting.